now. <laughs> Let's catch it's up and hide it. It's that weird enemy. We can't let our guard down. The flames follow my throat. U.S. Horn. And here. These kids are burning my head. Back up is here. at your age is no laughing matter. <laughs> she looks really tough and much more spirited than you, Piper. Oh, <laughs> such a sweet young lady. Keep it coming. I love hearing these things. I hope I'll be as spirited as you are when I turn 90. <laughs> I'm not 90 years old. Bernice, is that your name? Thank you for rescuing me. I want to do something for you in return. Where do you work? I'll write you a thank you letter. Uh, getting a thank you letter for doing a good deed is so not rock and roll for a biker gang from the Outer Ring. Oh, is that so? Then do you want money? I have a lot of it. Uh, no, money can't convey my gratitude. Uh, wait, uh, don't be so quick to decide. <laughs> uh, Bernice, 
Hey, Bernice, say something. Uh, you're right. There's no need to give us money. Money was the furthest thing from our minds when we saved you. Please, just take care of yourself and live a healthy life until you're 90. Oh, I want to live longer than that. But you really are a nice young lady. All right, then please take this. It'll bring you good luck. Is that a lottery ticket? I grabbed one while passing by the store. The friendly clerk there chose the numbers for me. My palms started getting hot when I purchased it. So I think it's a lucky ticket. I've lived more than enough years to know that this is a sign of Lady Luck smiling at me. I'm sure it's worth at least two million. Whoa! Two million? I'm gonna fill a swimming pool with nitro fuel and make Piper teach me how to swim! Uh, but I don't know how to swim either. Is it already getting to your head? Proxy, are we thinking the same thing? About the lottery ticket getting to Bernice's head? Of course. Bernice's endearing quality is her unwavering optimism. <sighs> That's what I love about her. So I don't want to see her feeling down. Reality always brings you down, doesn't it? Though it's a pain, I'll take it upon myself to remind her of the reality. Hey! You're back! Guess what I'm thinking about? Three, two, one! That's right! I'm thinking about how we should split that huge prize of two and a half million between the three of us. We only left for ten minutes and the prize money has already grown by an imaginary 500,000? I wish my stocks could do that. Oh, I thought you'd be happy, Piper. Didn't you always like discussing the lottery with other truck drivers? It's not the actual tickets we love. It's the prize money. Ah, Bernice, listen to me. Lottery tickets are a mix of statistics and pure dumb luck. But in the end, it's 95% statistics and 5% the dark side of society. Got it? <laughs> I don't get it at all! I hope you never do. It's too complicated for me to explain in detail, but a bet casually placed with numbers picked by the store you might have a slim chance of winning a small prize. A big prize? <laughs> no way. But the results haven't been announced yet. It's too early to say there's no way. Uh, don't give me one of those sports comic book lines like the opponents at their match point, but we haven't lost yet. Anyone who's made a bet knows miraculous victories only happen in comics. <sighs> Let me take a look at the ticket. The time on the ticket's still there, so it should be for tonight's draw. Oh, on TV? Cool! I can't wait! Hey, Proxy. I need to talk to you. It's practically impossible for this ticket to win, but I don't want Bernice to be alone when she gets disappointed. So... Bernice, let's head over to the video store on 6th Street to watch the draw, okay? We can watch it together.
miracles and magic may exist after all. This ticket's a winner, and it's the three million jackpot. Three million Denny's? Whoa, that's a big number! We'll get one million each! Huh? Wait, you were serious when you said that you planned to split the prize with us? Of course! She gave it as a thanks to all three of us. So obviously, the prize should be split evenly among us. Bernice. Huh? What is it? <sighs> it's nothing. You're such a good kid, Bernice. Uh, I'm included too? I really didn't do much apart from being a cute bang boo. But if you insist, then I won't refuse. What's with the sudden praise? I just did what anyone would do. You two would do the same in my shoes, right? I don't know about the proxy, but my heart is likely as grimy as a truck's exhaust pipe, whereas Bernice's heart shines like a truck's headlights. And the sexiest part of a truck isn't the headlights. It's the engine. Oh, when will my heart be able to rumble like an engine? <sighs> it's so nice to be young. Anyway, according to the show, it looks like the prize money won't be given out for a while. Then, shall we get going, Piper? Thanks for everything, Proxy. I'll contact you when the prize money arrives. Oh, don't worry. This lottery ticket is too important to lose. I'll make sure to keep it safe. Hehe. <laughs> hey, it's bad luck to say something like that. I should hold on to the ticket just to be safe. years as a proxy. This is the first time I've ever seen somebody try to find someone with an echolocation. There, she can't have gotten that far. She'll be able to hear. Get the... Oh. You the fire mark from a truck. You must have been stuck here. Hey, that you, Bernice? I'm over here. I knew it! How dare you lay a finger on Piper! Teach him a lesson. Piper! Oh, they didn't hurt you, did they? Ha! Huh. 
those greenhorns couldn't hurt a flea. If they didn't threaten to strike steel types, I wouldn't have given them the time of day. Understanding. <laughs> I guess we came here for nothing. We came here with empty stomachs, hoping to make a killing with that lottery ticket. But it seems we'll be going home still hungry. It's all right, boss. It doesn't matter if we didn't get the money. The other's low blood sugar has improved tremendously. It won't be like last time when Dickie fainted in that ethereal nest. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, just wait a minute. You're the ones who came charging at us. But now you're trying to put on a sad, starving act? Now we're the bad guys? Hey, Bernice, say something. Okay, I've decided. Dare I ask what you've decided? 
to provide self-service snacks during the first Bernie's Cup Seven Days and Nights Limited Drinking Festival, of course. A heart needs more than nitro fuel to keep pumping. Did I miss something? The first what? The first Bernice Cup Seven Days and Nights Unlimited Drinking Festival. Uh, what's that? I haven't mentioned it to you? Oh, I don't think I have. Well, it's all right. I can just tell you now. I plan to use my one million to buy different flavors of premium nitro fuel and drink with everyone in the outer ring for seven days and nights straight. What do you think? I'm sure everyone will love it. Uh, are you serious? Free nitro fuel and snacks? And we're all invited? Boss, you're not dreaming. It's a promise straight from Bernice of the Sons of Caledon. Yep, that's right. You can even bring along your ex-wife and daughter. Oh, wait. How old is your daughter? It was her fourth birthday yesterday. Then I'll book her a ticket for the 20th Bernice Cup! If only I knew you were planning to do such a good deed with your winnings! Uh, what have I done? I actually tried to rob a charitable angel like you guys tried to rob a saint! If you weren't so tired from hunger, we'd be tossing you into the air and cheering right now! Wow! I want to get tossed up in the air! The next time you see me, you have to toss me! It's a promise! Of course, of course we will. We'll get going then. Bye. Proxy said the nearest hollow exit is over there. Did you hear that? They want to throw me up in the air and cheer. Oh, everyone here is so nice. I don't know what to say. Proxy? What a touching scene. But Bernice... You said you wanted to spend all of it on a nitro fuel party? Were you serious? Absolutely! I've been wanting to do it since before I had a million. Oh, everyone's gonna be so happy! Don't tell me you want my idea! Um, you can host a nitro fuel party, but it can't be called the Bernice Cup. You've gotta come up with your own name. Oh, don't worry. We would never consider doing something like that. Compared to you, the Proxy and I are normal people, as ordinary as they come. We have lots of things we want to do and spend our money on. That's why we'll spend our money on improving our own lives. Right, Proxy?
Hey, Proxy. How have you been? Don't ask. So many things have happened recently. I'm finding it hard to even smile. What happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy it's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? An adult smile vanishes with their money. It's gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So, once I had the money, I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember. Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now. Uh, too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day. <sighs> That's the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ooh, that's like a school bus. Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. So, I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy-saving part I could find on the market, consulted an expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well, long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. That's so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. Uh, don't say my wife. Uh, no, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. Piper, it really hasn't been easy for you. Before coming here, I thought I had it worse than everyone else. You too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us, but even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? I didn't modify my car, but there wasn't much money left after paying the ridiculously high tax on my overdue power bill. What's more, my friend wanted to borrow some money to invest. I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. Uh, on the bright side, the prize money hasn't disappeared, it's just turned into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice, and maybe one day you'll see the money again? Aw, thanks for the compliment! I, I wasn't... Uh, fine, I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The proxy and I both thought this money could change your lives, but the happiness didn't last, and life feels even more difficult now. The proxy has to worry day and night about the return on investment, while I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. How come you always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? Eh, I have everything I want. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and the best friends in the world. When something new comes up, I'll take it in stride. Like how you were new to me, Proxy, but now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions, even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. Fine. 
I gotta work hard for next month's power bill. Lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. I knew it! Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or was I right all along about the impending doom of the world and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone? Wow! It's a wonderful thing! Calm down first. At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. Hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. Oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. Thanks! A miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an incredible streak of luck is worth more than 30 million. Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? 30 mil? 
I don't need that much. Ten million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. Why are you getting carried away too, Piper? Calm down, both of you. But I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket! It feels warm and sticky. That's probably the old man's hand sweat. Come to your senses, Bernice. Proxy, stop overthinking things. This 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life. Now's the time to celebrate. If I were in the car, I'd be honking like mad. Oh no. Piper's pupils have become Denny signs. I've only ever seen that happen to one person before. I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink or that glass of dearest special? Mm -hmm. Steel Tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. I'll make you the best drunk in the history of the Outer Ring. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over, but we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. I do have good news, but I also have bad news. I strongly suggest that you hear the bad news first. No, I want to hear the good news first. I think it's about time something good happened in my life. I want to hear the good news too! I'm the type who always hears the good news first. I see. Okay then. The good news is, we won the 30 million jackpot. Calm down first. Don't forget about the bad news. The ticket was issued more than a year ago. I checked the conditions and the redemption period is one year. The redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. No way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million anymore? <laughs> if you think about it from another perspective, maybe the 3 million we won before is part of this <sighs> uh, what do you think, Piper? Does thinking about it like that make you feel better? <laughs> That's more like it! There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter! Piper? You okay? I totally understand your disappointment. You don't need to force yourself. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I once thought I understood everything, but now I know that I don't understand anything at all. <sighs> Sorry, Steel Tusk. 
I'll reinstall your old engine and return to my old life. <laughs> What's wrong with that? After all, the characters all return to their old lives at the end of Adventure Story. I don't understand, but I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? <gasps> What's that? You have a new fuel formula? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. Why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution, instead of making hardware modifications? I already tested the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning. What? How did it go? Eh, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. Mm, but the cost increases a bit, too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk's fuel consumption problem. I know, I know. What you want to do most right now is to test it out, right? I should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank. I'll fill it up now. It won't be long. She's so amazing. The charm of a return to everyday life ending. Perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like Bernice and you, Proxy. Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? Don't you think it's too much torture to live with a delusion that you can get something for nothing? Our peaceful daily lives are worth cherishing because you never know when the peace will end. That makes sense. Lady Luck might favor people who are content and pure-hearted like you, rather than a mercenary like me. <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim! Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom vroom! <laughs> well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. <laughs> <laughs>